Hi, I'm Anthony Palladano and welcome to Inside Michigan Women's Soccer. This Saturday will mark the final home game for three Wolverines. And while they'll all go out together, their arrival and careers here at Michigan have all been unique. Claire Stachel started 68 career matches for the Maize and Blue. A redshirt senior due to an injury just prior to her second season, Stachel has fought through injuries again this season as well. I've been here a long time, and, um, but to be honest, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change getting hurt. I wouldn't change staying a fifth year. Like It's all been super worth it, and I'm just looking forward to beating Illinois on Saturday. Claire is a gutsy person and player, and uh, you know she's fighting through this thing. She's doing very, very well. Uh, and I think she's really catching her stride in terms of playing now, you know, and she's getting more minutes in, and I think that's key to helping her have the confidence to really go out there and do well. My, some of my best memories are off the field with these girls. Like, I can't tell you how goofy this team is. Like, words cannot describe it, um, but they're, they're my family. Like, that's what I'm going to miss most is, you know, I can go play pickup soccer somewhere, but it will never be the same because I won't be with these girls. Stachel has 10 career goals and 12 assists at U of M and will be remembered not only for her success on the field, but her on-camera presence as a reporter for mgoblue.com off of it. I loved it. I still remember my sophomore year, Pat coming and kind of offering that up and I had no clue what I was doing in front of the camera. Kind of just went with it and it actually kind of turned into a career for me and hopefully I'll keep doing that after college. Haley Kottmeyer, like Stachel, is a redshirt senior. Kottmeyer has 72 career starts in goal for U of M and is the program's all-time leader in saves. She's also tied for first with 25 career shutouts, nine of which have come this year. I mean, the way I look at it is I'm doing the best job I can to keep us in games and give us the best chance, you know, to win games this year. And um, it's going well and, and just doing so, you know, you kind of get your name in the record book and it's an honor to be up there with some of the, you know, the people that have played before me, you know, Susie Gretsch, uh, Megan Tura, Chris Stewart, Madison, you know, all those guys. So it's just kind of, I'm proud, but I'm just mostly excited about the things we've done as a team this year. You know, I think Haley is maybe the most improved goalkeeper I've ever seen over the course of these past five seasons and her confidence and ability to manage a game and make big time saves and organize the defense and communicate and lead and every aspect of her game is so sound now and you know and, and she would admit that she had a little bit to learn when she got here and uh, so I, I just credit her for being willing to dig in and just really embrace the process of becoming a great goalkeeper really hard to believe you know it's after five years it kind of just becomes second nature to you so it's gonna be really Really weird to kind of have this life without soccer after this, but um, you know we're focused on the rest of the season, and I'm excited to you know have my last few games in the Michigan uniform. Emily Jaffe took a different route at Michigan. After a stint playing for Iowa, the Ann Arbor native landed on the U of M club team, where she was promptly discovered and immediately inserted into the starting lineup last year. Well, I'm just really happy I did end up here. Um, I had no idea this was going to be in my future, but. I think it's the best choice I made at Michigan. But when we found out she was here, well, I stole her from the club team, which I had to apologize for, but I'm really thankful that she's joined us. She's a wonderful person, wonderful player, and, and great addition to our team. This season, she scored her first two career goals in back-to-back -back games, including a game winner in overtime against Michigan State. Helping to beat State was the highlight of the season so far. Um, I hope the Big Ten Championship, hopefully, um, tops that. But it's been, a, it's been great to be able to help this team do so well this year. Um, ra rather, it's while I'm on the field or off the field, and just being with the group of girls has been great. Well, Haley, Claire, and Emily have just been fantastic uh, players, but more importantly, people and leaders in our team. And, they set the right example for every player in this team in terms of how they prepare themselves, the responsibility, how they act off the field. And uh, for me, I didn't recruit any of these kids, but I feel like they're all mine. And uh, I spent five years with Haley and Claire now and, and wish I had I've had five with Emily. They're just great people. The three hope their playing careers here at Michigan go as long as possible. After Saturday's match against Illinois, there's the Big Ten Tournament. And then there's the NCAAs, which are quite likely given the fact that the team is 13-3-2 overall and currently ranked number 24 in the country. For Inside Michigan Women's Soccer, 
I'm Anthony Palladano.